TV and school. Uh, in my opinion, a film school by defi definition is an educational institution running courses and teach film related subjects. But the context, the context of today's rapidly changing and advancing technologies, I strongly felt there is a need to relook at both the conventional and traditional methods of film teaching. The relevance of degree given by film institutes has been debatable. The point is that no one can teach a talented person. Almost one can work on steering that person and, and that's what uh, we propose to do in Unschool. So RGV himself never worked as an assistant director nor, I, nor ever went to a film school. And yet he made trending, uh, trend setting films. In, it's his vast experience and his very specific understanding of cinema is what which we intend to both channelize and systemize at the Unschool. Unschool will be radically different and from all other film schools uh, while other schools teach this school will only make students unlearn. Unlearning tradition and conventional methods is what unschool is. To start with, I have to confess that uh, I was a very bad student in school. I failed twice in 10th standard, I failed twice in intermediate, and I failed twice in engineering. So I think uh, it's very ironical that we are talking about RGB school. Though it's called unschool, the intention is to be school. See, right from the beginning of my career, for some reason, I never said that it is a media which invented this world, RGV school. And I kept on saying, this film looks like RGV school, or the director is from RGV school, or, or things like that, as RGV school, and shot in this thing. I never ever really thought. I mean, filmmaking can be taught, you know, because uh, it is an expression of the person, how he wants to tell the story. So the idea for me here is, when I never ever had any training, and uh, many, there are many other writers like that. So what they are thinking from inside, an expression which converts into the various forms of uh, uh, cinematic art, whether it is camera work or music or whatever it is, you know. And when I met film institute students from all over the place, and not naming one particular institute, I felt that just following very old classical patterns of uh, teaching, they uh, expect them to understand very old time directors, uh, I mean, like Battleship, Potemkin. I'm not demeaning them. Of course, they were great films for the time. But I don't think cinema today is about what it was intended when it started. Yeah. There's a lot of comments involved. There's a lot of uh, people's expectations, a lot of people's expectations for various reasons. You know? So I think today it's a professional sport course. It's not more, no more a passion, I mean, just passion about an art. It's not that. So I think it's equally important to understand what made a blockbuster work. That doesn't mean one school is going to teach how to make a blockbuster. But I think it's important to analyze it. It's important to, I mean, uh, kind of dissect it and make the students understand what do they want to do. Do they want to become uh, uh, an Eisenstein or do they want to become Rajmouli? Or do they want to learn from Citizen Kane? Or do they want to learn from PK, for example? So I think unschool will be very radical. It will be exactly doing the opposite of what uh, conventional film institutes uh, will be doing. You know? And that precisely comes from my thought process of not me wanting to teach or the unschool. I mean, uh, wants you to teach otherwise. When uh, Shweta used this word to make them unlearn, like instinctively people have something and then traditionally people try to make people understand something else. What you are thinking is ra wrong, you should think like this. You know, that is what schools do, that's what institutes do. But the unschool's point is to somehow make the students understand what their thinking is right and to only be able to tell them 
or guide them or steer them what it is about then uh, it obviously means is unschooled on another way you know i'll share an uh, small anecdote when in, in shiva when I, i broke many rules you know i didn't know even the left and right of camera sometimes when i was uh, directing my debut film so even my technicians used to tell nagarjuna and everyone that uh, he doesn't even know left and right how can he direct and he doesn't know the basics of fundamentals of uh, making you know and after the film work they said that's new age they said that's new age technique you know now why did they break the rules actually they didn't break the rules i didn't know the rules so when i didn't know the rules i just followed my heart and how i want to see it you know and that became uh, whatever it became you know so uh, similarly i think any story or any given thing different different filmmakers are going to treat it differently and their sensibilities will be different and their uh, way of wanting to capture will be different the taste and music will be different so the idea is to make them discover a filmmaker in themselves rather than trying to push a filmmaker into them no. any of the great filmmakers when you are in, when you are inspired or impressed or whatever uh, one thinks the bottom line is so the thing is one you can be impressed influenced but you can also be impressed by very unknown director not necessarily what the institutes have determined as these are great directors these are because they got awards or they got something you can be inspired from a short film who nobody knows who made it you know so you are taking in things from whatever influence to and impress you and uh, you are trying to assimilate and absorb that so unschool will develop a process of doing it and system systemize it like what she said you know systemize and channelize a very radical and a very anarchic kind of thinking you know without having any rules and uh, any kind of a discipline and functions for example you know so because of my reputation if i am starting a school because i am i am first of all a rowdy you know someone called me a cellulite terrorist this <laughs> you know, is why i don't know but i i hope and I intend to the unschool to make uh, i mean very very individualistic you know when a lot of people say only after rajiv came assistant director started uh, sitting with them and the kalman kali school gochi you know they develop an attitude and you know arrogance and all that you know now because i am attracting people who have an individual attitude i hate that very slave like culture which normally uh, people have you know so my uh, again coming back to this when there are so many institutes why start another institute instead of any one ask that question precisely i think the very title of the institute and also the four lines which is written in terms of uh, professing as objectives itself will tell this is going to be a, unlike anything anyone has uh, seen or experienced and uh, in terms of content generation or whatever it is i think it will uh, have methods which have never been heard of before all those details will be given in about 20 days in a website which will be uh, put up at a certain time you know and how the process will start and where it will be and all those details will come at a later stage but this press meet is uh, primarily intended for people to know about the idea and we are inviting people to apply on what kind of a uh, i mean criteria we require for people to apply and what will be the selection process based on what what needs to be so we are trying to gather these applicants so that we zero in on who in a sensibility or in a psychological pattern whatever the school is looking for you know we want to choose the students what who we want to uh, be a part of the unschool based on a certain examination you know and that is what the principal idea of this particular presentation is so any questions
You see, I feel the main principal crafts in our school will be acting, directing, some music, cinematography, editing, sound design. You know, any of the parts where you require a certain individualistic uh, I mean, approach and a point of view, how you want to use them as storytelling elements, all that will be a part of the unschool. Do you offer writing courses? It might happen in the later stage, not in the initial uh, courses. Because I feel writing, I, I feel writing for me is a point of the thing. A filmmaker himself should write. I somehow feel the writer should not be separate, especially when they call a cinema is a, I mean, it's a visual medium, and the sound and picture has to go together. And if the person who's writing cannot imagine the picture, I'm fundamentally of this. Uh, belief that they cannot be separated. The director should be the writer. If at all he has a writer, I don't think it should be a part of the he's taking a professional writer. Yeah. When she first proposed the idea for starting the school, yeah. what was your initial reaction? Considering that you never I initially, you know, so when she approached Shweta, she uh, uh, she's not really from a film background or anything. I was first first surprised uh, you know, like she's based in New York, she does lots of fashion shows and things like that, you know. And I was always uh, against something like, uh, what do you call, to teach or uh, things like that. And I never saw myself, you know, because I used to sit in the back of the classroom and throw chalk pieces at my lecturers. That's, that's my only <laughs> experience in school. So for me to suddenly think of me as uh, pretending to be a kind of a person who can make people learn, then she said, but uh, that is not what I'm asking you to do. I'm just asking you to be yourself. And that is different. And the way you look at films, the way you explain films, or the way what it means to you, is what the system of the unschool should be. You know, which is why it will be different from anything else. So because I'm traditionally against all film institutes and uh, the kind of teaching, I'm generally against education itself. You know? If at all somebody wants to listen to himself, he can before the mirror, why should he join unschool? What, what, what? But that's the point. The unschool is going to teach how he can be himself, because most of the people don't seem to have that. See, if in 30 years I can't make you understand, as a journalist, what? What the fee structure be normal? See, we haven't come to the fee structure yet, because there's a lot of things being planned, uh, by the way it is completely done, and it will be, of course, different for different things in terms of, uh, because like I said, none of the method, none of them will be like what we con used to like hearing a six month score, one year course, or there could be, I mean probably there will be something like uh, only for the duration of one project. And that project can happen very fast or very soon depending upon the complexity of it, depending upon the person who is doing it, you know. So it, it will be very, it, it won't operate like six months, one year, two weeks, something can be only for two days maybe. I'm just giving an example, you know. So the whole, that is the reason it's being called unschooled. Nothing will operate like a school or an institute. All those details are being worked on, which will be shared very soon. See, today's time, I think it's, it's, not, it's not like classroom, it's not like, uh, of course there will be a lot of physical interaction in places. It will happen at least in four different places, and uh, including the U.S. Yeah. Four different places. Hyderabad is included. Hyderabad, Bombay, and, and in New York, where she is, where New York, where she is from, and one other place we are getting to see. Yeah. Where the near Delhi? Regular random and they see the point. Uh, the point is uh, when, when when I'm just releasing one uh, press note, Nikur Estanale. There are ten questions, so seven questions to be answered uh, for the to apply for this school, and uh, directly based on their answers, they'll be shortlisted, and then there'll be further exam. And then what? <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, now that you asked me, uh, just as an example, I want to read a few questions. What will be asked of uh, the applicants of uh, the school? I mean, not that uh, one will uh, so okay. Name 10 best films that you really liked or were influenced by. This is to know the applicant's taste and sensibility. Name three of the worst films and write two or three lines on each of them and why you did not like them. This, the reasons will give a peek into the applicant's analytical intelligence. Cinema Hindu natural le do ancha padam gora khale natural le do baun le baale chhatwa mande ekhen Hindu natural le do ancha pina puru you will understand uh, the analysis power you know what is the last flop film you liked and why do kon bad cinema natural le do kara but obviously thani ke do kani thein mangal bilu you know udhar ani ke aag natural gora na gora kalsi okade kalsi. Ag, ag cinema and action or whatever culture. You know, photo bit for me. No, you know, photo bit for me. They would button this is a bit for me. What is the last flop film you liked and why? This is to test the degree of intelligence in one's honesty. And a flop cinema and action, the Induk Natchin and the honest chapel is there. Obviously, that is a criteria you are looking for uh, in the person. What is the last hit film you hated and why? This is to test how strongly one is opinionated. Can you mention one scene in any film which you think has been very well directed and give your reasons? This will test how much one actually understands directing is there. Shala Bhala direct is there and there, but direction and the first to That's the point, you know. And then, if you were to shoot Satya now, after uh, 20 years, to today's available technology, in cameras you just though, and how many days? So today in the internet, everybody knows how films are made. They see the making, and uh, many people make independent films. So even before coming to the institute, does he really have some understanding of how films are made? Al practical the antor ko telsu, and another time ki this question is designed for that. No. As a first attempt, what kind of film would you like? to make and why this is to understand a degree of one's <coughs> ambition so kotta ga ochchadu nenu bahubali chestanu vastada you know my ambition is to make bahubali ante chaala chaala ambitious you know and uh, then why an adiginappudu he have to answer nenu rajmouli ganna better an anukuntu antada ante appudu dan batti adu ee antasthalo unnadu telustadi no we will have a second legal question. And even was the Papa Rajmoli Kerbe in a pottery. Rajmoli Patakotan was the industry dogi. So, a lot of these kind of things happening to provoke and, uh, I mean, what do you call, uh, provocate a certain thing to get to know the real inside of him. And in this selection process, they'll be carefully taken out. No? So these are some of the questions, whatever uh, I said, just to give an example. Faculty? What? See, uh, that, is, that is exactly the point. They won't be teachers. Yes. This, see, there will be, I am, it will be a very, very interactive kind of a, uh, I mean, uh, process, you know. There will be a very, very one-to-one -one level in terms of in interaction and all that. It is not like you're putting a bunch of people there. You know, it will be almost like a, uh, I mean, it doesn't sound right in a moral sense, but the nearest example I can give, which is like a terrorist outfit. It is like a radical terrorist, Dora Bora Mountains, like one of them. No, I'm not saying about the place. The point is, it's like a, to teach, I mean, to imagine each individual as a separate filmmaker, you know, and there could be the interaction will be at most on a one-to-one, -one, maybe on a personal, physical level, or on giving in a project. You know, if you cell phone, if if we ask him, 
to just take whoever you want and give me two minute short film and only use the cell phone. Somebody might be given uh, something as uh, complex as a visual effects film and ask him to do that. That, that is when I said the projects might differ in terms of what, you know. So everything will be taken independently as a project work by itself, like a, you're giving a contract out to that, to that particular thing. And unschool will be providing the information which he might not have, you know, a guidance which he might not have in some issues, you know, because any person who has passion can come and join the unschool, you know. And if you, and if you go back a little to schooling, for example, four years I was an engineering college. So I'm, I'm supposed to be civil engineer because I have a degree. And I don't know the mixture of uh, cement concrete, but I have a degree. So at the point in the day, when when you go to an institute, they will commonly teach everybody something which people might not be interested. Me interest in when I get first of all, I interest but in their system then, you will learn which Kolan Kona they need to That that for me is the fundamental difference between high school and any other school. So which is the reason I am saying the system is the gate for teaching on almost a one-to-one -one level. And the one-to-one -one in the classroom is around the ninth level. You should not imagine it as a classroom to start with. That's the whole point. But those details will come to know uh, later. How is the motor system? Because motor is too, I want to make a lot of terrorists and uh, into the, lead them into the film industry. <laughs> I want to create more Burma. Huh? No, no, no. I don't want to create Burma. Burma is just one of them. But I believe there are thousands of people who think like me. They're just not able because they don't want to go through that whole process of it and they're lost. So, under me, Allah will give you a picture and chat go gun each in the middle of that. School, 100%. Even I had a school. Now, school and that's the whole thing I'm saying. I was not born with some talent or knowledge. I learned something in the theatres. I learned something in the in the people I met. That they, uh, Because my uncle was a film buff and he happened to be taking me to a lot of films. So every person will have different experiences. Every person will have uh, uh, his own sensibility. You know, his own IQ level. Each of them has to be taken separately as a case study. Which is the reason I said, if you education law, I feel as education in the point of first near picture. And near picture, you can't do part of the exam, you can't do any mark, what is it nonsense? Why do you need to be educated? You should understand first. You know? So I think that whole process something because my cinema is something my subject and I've, been, I've had 30 years of experience, good, bad, ugly and flop films and hit films, whatever I made. Out of all that experience, I systemized it not to teach but to make people unlearn, like I said. If you put in 30 years to an age of experience, if you can manage to give it to the unschool for a person on day one, he obviously can develop from that. He doesn't need to go through my entire experience. That is precisely the point. With the offer. offer obviously will come directly depending upon his talent. Offer does not be is not given on charity. You see, you know, offer even what you want. And then the talent on them there is the Adi Tilsa Lopla, then produce a double year school. Yeah. Is unschool affordable to the poor students like me? Poor students and Chetter and my qualification are the first. And I get Adukune mental children, mother, really, I was poor students. I find affordability of the affordability obviously will depend upon the specific thing. Mm -hmm. 
See, that directly will depend upon each project and that is more, I think, Shweta Reddy's uh, prerogative because I am just the creative head and not into administration and, and the financial part. Yeah. We'll work on it and get back. <laughs> Are you, are you going to teach? Me? Yeah. I am going to unteach. Teach and a word, I have a problem. I only want to talk, I'll tell you, honestly, I, I only will talk about my flops. I won't talk about my hits in this. Uh, in this. In the Hitler and Shoes are already done. They'll Then flop is, you know, then talented director. I know what flop is, you know, and then martyr day. They will understand from that more than my hit films. Yen cheyi gordo nechko nechko untaan ke better. Yen cheyi cho already choose cinema. Mali yen yen jepe. Yen aarojhe Shiva cinema dhisi na puru. An jepe na hulo na. Arey udra. Shiva two thousand six endu dhisa ani. That one you will learn more. Ensam you got your point. Thanks.